Hello, thanks a lot for stopping by How To Cook Great. Now, if you like what you see, there's over 3,000 other cooking videos on our channel. Uh, give us a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment, and I'll try and get back to you. Okay, let's get on with this one. Hello, how are you doing? So today we're going to make some stuffed peppers. Very simply, we're going to make a nice meat easy sauce. We're going to get it in into the peppers. Bit of mozzarella at the bottom and at the top. Really, really lovely. Now, I kind of made too much meat for these amount of peppers, maybe twice as much. So you might want to reduce the amount of meat that I've used. Or like me, I can use it for some spag bowl, some, you know, jacket potatoes or something like that. Really simple. Let's get on with this one. Welcome back to How to Cook Great. Okay, so we're going to go straight in on this one. I've got three tablespoons of olive oil there and I'm going to add some ground or minced beef. I've got there one kg, that's about 2.2 pound. What we're going to do on an above medium heat, we're going to throw this around in the pan first for about five minutes. Okay, so you can see that it's broken down a little bit, changed color somewhat. What we're gonna do now is add two teaspoons of oregano, one tablespoon of chopped garlic, one cup of onions. Then we're gonna get some salt in there and black pepper. And we're gonna go for another four to five minutes on this medium heat. Okay, beautiful. Now I'm going to add 250 grams of tomato paste. And that's like kind of two of those little tetra pack things. You know those little tetra pack things I'm talking about? In that goes, we're going to go for another four or five minutes again. I like to kind of cook the tomato paste out. We're still going to add a can of tomatoes and a couple of other bits as well. And that's looking fantastic. Okay, I've got one can of tomatoes there. That was a whole plum tomato, just roughly chopped it with my hand. And then what I like to do is I like to get a nice heaped tablespoon of pesto in there. That's a tomato pesto. pesto. Of course you can use a green one. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna lower the heat, not to a simmer, but above a simmer, and let that go for seven, eight minutes or so. Give it a stir every now and then, that is beautiful. All right, that's looking beautiful. Now, just one last thing. I like to get some lovely cheese in there. I've got some beautiful, fresh grated Parmesan there. If you wanted, you could use some cheddar or something like that, or a bit of mozzarella, but I like that in there. So give that a little mix in, off goes the heat. That meat sauce is done and ready. Okay, so the meat sauce is done. Let's have a little chat about our peppers. Now, you can use any color you want. The yellow, oranges, purples, and reds are slightly sweeter than the green, but go ahead and use green if you want. Now, what I've done is I've cut mine like so, you know? You can cut them that way if you want. You know, you can cut them that way and lay them down. Now, cut them so the lids are like so. There's a little white membrane in there. Pull that out, and if they're not standing up very well, just have a little slice on them, just a small little slice, and then they'll stand up really nicely. Very simply, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop a little bit of mozzarella in the bottom, our meat sauce, and then on the top, a little bit of mozzarella. Let's get on with that. So I've got some mozzarella here, and you could use cheddar if you want, and uh, I've got it just cubed like that. So we're just gonna drop a few bits in the bottom of each one, you know? And then we're gonna go with the meat sauce and then a little bit more uh, mozzarella or cheese on the top. Now I'm using a metal tray here that can go in the oven. You could use glass or ceramic if you want. Right, let me grab that meat sauce. So you can see me 
just fill those there beautifully and then just a little bit more of the cheese of your choice like i said i'm using this mozzarella i'm just gonna finish it off there and then pop the lids on and then they're going to go into a preheated oven about 220 i'll leave some details below gas marks and f and c temperatures below probably going to be i reckon it's going to be about just 10 minutes in the oven and they're absolutely beautiful really really happy with those lids go on be back in about 10 minutes maybe 10 or 12 minutes Okay, and there you go, beautiful. You can see they've kind of roasted on the top there. Let's try and lift one up, see what it looks like. Oh yeah, look at that, lovely. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, and there you go, just plated them up, taken the lids off, and I'll just put a little bit of chopped parsley on the top. Absolutely wonderful, really, really simple. I hope you enjoy that. Keep safe, keep well. Lots of love. Hey look, so I made too much meat sauce. So, of course you can have that with some spaghetti, like I've done there, like a bolognese. Stick it in some jacket potatoes, try it on a bit of toast, chuck it on a pizza. It's all good, isn't it? It's really versatile stuff. Anyway, yeah, if you, if you want to follow the recipe, you probably want half the amount of meat that I use because, yeah, I overdone it a bit. Well, well done for making it to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all of you that follow the channel on a regular basis. You know who you are. There's loads of you. I'm cooking away like nonstop. As you can see, I've got some lovely food right in front of me here. We're just about to be start our cookbook. We're doing our cookbook at the moment, which is going to take a long time to come out. I know a lot of you have been asking for it, but yeah, it's going to take a while, lots to do. But yeah, cooking away. Chef June is working really hard on the channel as well, doing his Filipino food in Togalo. Rahel's got her own channel now doing the Ethiopian food, which is marvellous. It is in Amharic, the national language of Ethiopia. But check it out because she really, really is fantastic. I'm doing good. I hope you're doing great. Give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment. I do actually try and get back to everyone who leaves a comment for me. Subscribe, subscribe to the channel. All that good stuff. There's social media knocking about, you know, Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff if you want to check it out. But that's it. Keep safe. Keep well. Lots of love. Mm -hmm.